So I passed my AZ400 and I shared this tweet and got a lot of questions about, you know, how I just went into the exam without preparing. And AZ400, if you don't know, is a DevOps exam. So it's the, and if you have AZ104 or 204, you get the DevOps Engineer Expert badge after you pass the AZ400. So it's a Microsoft certification and I got a voucher last year in November for Microsoft Ignite. So there was a cloud skills challenge. I did that challenge and I got a voucher to sit this exam for free. Otherwise, I think it's $165. And what happened is back then I booked the exam to February 15th, which was the last day to take the exam with the voucher that you got. Because I thought, let's book it out because I'll forget I have this voucher and I wanted to I didn't have time back then to sit the exam. So I'm like, whatever is the last day, which was February 15th, the coupon is valid till, I'll book that. And I forgot. So you receive an email from Pearson two days before the exam that, hey, you have an upcoming exam on February 15th. So I got the email on February 13th that I have an exam in two days and it's the AZ400. So like the, I looked at the outline of the exam and I'm like, there is no way, even if I start preparing now, I'll be able to get through, you know, even 20% of what the syllabus is or the outlines are. But remember, when I did the Ignite challenge, I went through the Microsoft Learn modules because that's how you pass the Microsoft Cloud Skills challenge. So I've done the modules already on Microsoft Learn, but I never took a course or practice exams or exam dumps. And I also wanted to reflect on, I have experience of working as a DevOps engineer for a year. So in from 2020 to 2021, I worked as a DevOps engineer and most of the pipelines, the CI CD stuff that I built was in Azure DevOps. All our repos were in Azure DevOps. So I was really comfortable with the tools that were gonna be asked on this exam because I had hands-on experience. That being said, I haven't touched them since early 2021. But I guess when I took the exam and I saw some questions, I could pictureize and imagine the dashboard that I saw back two years ago. And that's how I passed it, I think. Um, you know, I believe that experience matters and experience is way more, you know, valuable than any course or any exam dumps. And here I am. So talking about the exam itself, I scored 710, so 710 out of the 1,000. And I know that to pass, you need 700 points or 700 marks. So passed it really close uh, just with the 10 points. And I will show you the breakdown on how I scored on each module or section of the exam as the exam has five. And I have my laptop here. So I did the worst on developer security and compliance plan, which I expected because uh, I had, I'd never uh, practiced that back when I was a DevOps engineer too. And I scored the most on implement and instrumentation strategy. I'll say that the most challenging questions I feel like I was really confused with was different kind of version control systems. So I only know or have expertise in Git, but there are two different uh, version control systems where the questions were asked about. I think there were like four questions on the exam and I got confused because I knew Git, but there was this another one called Perforce and the Apache subversion. So I'm like, I don't know. And there were some match the following. So they each had a property listed. I only knew what Git is known for. So I would match that, but then was confused about the other two version control systems. But, you know, a pass is a pass. Uh, but I did want to point out, you know, don't take the risk like I did. Do study for it. I in no way say that go into the exam without any preparation. As I said in the beginning, I have a year of experience um, working as a DevOps engineer with Azure tooling and Azure DevOps as a platform. So I think that really helped, but a little revision or preparation would have helped me to score better. And then 
also, you know, the security and compliance uh, section. So developer security and compliance plan. I did poorly on that particular section. To be honest, if I remember the questions, uh, I think I did fine. Uh, but as per the scores, you know, most of the questions that I answered in that section were incorrect. Yeah, so I wanted to make this quick video. I am actually in Montreal in a hotel. Um, I'm attending the Confo conference. I don't know if I'll do a vlog, but I wanted to make this video for raising 400 because I got a lot of questions on how I passed it without even studying. So here it is. I'll see you in the next one.